Okay, so it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Just got a few modifications for your jib system on your Tiger or similar, uh, which can help. The first one is if you have a furling jib and a self-tacking jib system, what can you do to allow you to roll the jib? Well, let's have a look. So here we've just uh, put a rope loop through the center of the block on the car onto the end of the inner jib sheet rope. We've put a small hook with a clip on it. You could put a carabiner or a snap shackle. So when you finish sailing, let the jib off. Take this off and then that will give you this much range to roll the jib up. Okay, so the way this is set up, it won't actually allow us to roll the jib very much, but that will roll enough to take a significant amount of the power away if you're uh, coming into a beach or wherever you're parking. What you could do is lengthen this rope, experiment with the length of this rope, see how long you can make that one. The longer that you can make it and still be able to sheet in, that means you will be able to furl the jib more. There we go, that's all I've got as a solution for that one. Okay, so this one came up from the last video about the Tiger jib system, and this is uh, about a protective cover for all of this lot here, so that there's less chance, less risk of your spinnaker getting ripped. So first we're just gonna make sure, if you have a shackle down here, make sure this bad boy is as tight as possible. So use a pair of pliers, or even an adjustable spanner to make sure that is tight. And then we'll individually type up these rings. So uh, the top of the chain plate there, I've taped that together as well, because otherwise the spinnaker sheet can get caught in the top of that. So there we go, that's taped and ready to introduce the cover. So what we have is a piece of plastic tube. Uh, this is three centimeters uh, in diameter there. And with a hacksaw I've cut down the side there. So this we're just gonna put on from above the chain plate, should make it a bit easier. You might have to use a pair of pliers or a tool to open it up if it's really stiff and then just sliding this down over everything, including the shackle at the bottom. There we go. Okay, and now that's on there, I'm just gonna take some tape and put some tape around it. I'm leaving this part of the Cunningham outside so that it can run a bit th freer Otherwise it's gonna stick inside there. Just bringing this down as low as possible so it meets the bridle wires. And then I'm gonna use what you might call a reason oh dear, a reasonable amount of tape. I'm just gonna stick a bit on around the top here as well. And there we are, ready to go. If you're hoisting and lowering your jib every time you sail, you might need to adapt this method so that it's less time consuming each time. But this is uh, what we do here at Wild Wind because uh, we leave the jibs up most of the time. Thank you very much, hope this has been helpful.